I've said it many times. I love crunch. I love min-maxing. I love abusing rules and mechanics. A little bit of rules lawyering makes a game fun. But only when it's good! At character creation, you're presented with a table. You're told to prioritize different aspects of your character's capabilities. You might look at this and say, I want my attributes to be my greatest strength, and my skills to be the second strongest part of my character. But if you took the attribute points that they gave to you in this table, and you just started applying them to your character, you might end up with a human who had as many hit points as a troll, and that would just ruin everything. Fortunately, the game designers thought of that. After the fact, of course. So then, you get your attribute points, but then you can only spend them in this way. Oh, and you can't spend them on these attributes. Because... We said so. But then after telling you that you're not allowed to spend the attribute points that you chose from their chart, 36 pages after they've given you these special racial exception rules, and after they've taken you through the steps of purchasing qualities and skills, which you will do based on assumptions built from distributing your attribute points, another exception is presented where they say, oh, and you're only allowed to max out one of your attributes. Why? So then you gotta go back to the attribute distribution step, and you gotta change what you've done, which may screw up the rest of the work you've done in those other 36 pages. Why did they even make it possible to choose to have 24 attribute points if they weren't gonna let you just spend them? It's as if the racial limits on attribute distribution weren't arbitrary enough. They just had to throw that one more exception in there, just in case you were starting to comprehend and reason about the system they'd created for you. But this is a pristine example of complexity without depth. But wait! There's more. When you roll dice in Shadowrun, you are going to roll a bunch of d6s. But only some of those dice are allowed to count. As a raving, foaming-at-the-mouth fanboy of L5R, I must say that I do not disapprove of this idea. But the Roll Keep system's execution of this concept, of limiting which dice may contribute to success, was executed more directly and more sensibly. This brings us to Inherent Limits. How you calculate the inherent limits is really nifty. Sometimes on your rolls you will be using your mental limit, or your physical limit, or your social limit. And when that limit applies, it's mostly intuitive, except when it's not. Sometimes you'll draw limits from other places, completely unrelated to these inherent limits that you've done all the work of calculating. And sometimes there will be no limit to a roll whatsoever. This pretty much turns the entire dice mechanic of this game into a patchwork quilt made of the skins of aborted fetuses. I want to like this game, I really do. But as it stands, in terms of cyberpunk RPGs with a system to abuse. GURPS is better. Alternity is better. MechWire is better. They haven't ruined MechWire, have they? Oh, crap.